So before we start, if you need to figure out how to get your strut out of your car, go ahead and check out my other videos where I show you how to do that. Hey guys, it's Josh with Budget Mechanic. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart a McPherson strut like this. And uh, on many cars you can actually save quite a bit of money uh, if you need to replace a certain part of the strut, like the spring or the mount or the actual cartridge, um, without having to replace the whole unit as one. And to do this job you're going to need a spring compressor. Uh, they have a couple different kinds, but this is the kind that I have that we're going to be using today. So the reason that you need a spring compressor to work on these is that they've built the spring into the strut and it's under a lot of tension because of this spring. So you can't just remove this nut on top or the spring will explode off and uh, probably hurt you pretty bad. All right, let's get started compressing the spring. Um, you can see on this one, I modified it a little bit and I actually added a, I welded a nut to the end so that you could put a wrench on either end. Um, if you don't have a double-ended thing like that, you just want to make sure that wh whatever position you put this on, you can still get a wrench on your main bolt here. kind of want to grab the spring as close to the ends as possible so you have the most uh, travel that you can make. And once you got it kind of slid in there, find a position where your, your nuts aren't going to bind up real bad. You want to, as much as possible, go 180 degrees opposed to the, your other side. Most of these are going to have some sort of a safety like this. You can push through to keep it from hopping off the spring. So just make sure that these are as close to 180 from each other as possible so that you're going to take it down evenly. What we want to avoid is having this somehow, very unlikely, but this slip off and the spring recompressing. Um, so basically I treat the ends of the strut as sort of danger zones, like a gun. I wouldn't want to point it at myself. I'm not going to end up like this working on it. In case something were to happen, it's going to go up this way. I use an impact. If you don't have an impact, it doesn't. this just saves you a little time from having to ratchet this all the way down. And I'm going to alternate going from one side to the other, slowly cranking the spring down. You can already see it move a little bit. We'll go a little more. Okay, so now that this is, is loose inside, we know that the pressure is off of our top cap, and we can take this big nut off the top without fear of it exploding. So still making sure that I'm kind of keeping this thing pointed away from me. I'm gonna set my socket on the top cap. This is a good time to have an impact because uh, this will try to spin on you. Um, if you're using just a wrench, you'd have to figure out a way to brace this piece, probably get a screwdriver in here or something, just a little bit more of a hassle, but still possible. But these are on pretty tight. This will have separated parts, so you just want to make sure you don't lose any parts. Yeah, so there's a bushing in there. Keeping in mind which direction stuff came off of, it doesn't matter so much this way, it can kind of spin as it wants to, but the parts and the orientation obviously are important. Then you'll be able to just pull the spring right off. So that's how you take the spring off of a McPherson strut safely. And now it just depends on what, what parts you needed to replace. Um, most often I do a strut cartridge, um, and with that I'll do the strut mount. So these will be sold separately, but I can reuse the old spring. If I'm going to do that, I just leave the spring compressors on here, and I will just slide this on to my new part. If I'm going to replace the actual spring, but not the strut, obviously I would need to take these off, put them on the new spring, and compress it down and get ready to go on. If you are replacing your strut cartridge, I highly recommend you also get the strut mount. I would say 50% of the time that's the noise that you hear when a strut's going bad, the rattling up high. It's usually actually this. So before you go back to putting the new strut together, just make sure that you got all the old parts um, if you need them. Sometimes the, the new struts don't come with the little rubber uh, boot at the bottom or the boot around the center and you have to remove them from the old and put them on the new. Put your spring back onto the new strut. So you just want to make sure that the, the end of the spring goes in the little cup or the ridge of the, of the rubber as well as the metal right there. So once it's kind of seated on the bottom and I'm holding it down, I'll go ahead and put my mount on on the top. You kind of see it has a slotted side here which matches the slotted part of the threads. Just got a 
wrestle it all the way down until it fully seated. On this one, I've got a bushing that goes in first, and then my top, top nut. Make sure that thing is tightened all the way. Now that this knot is on, we can release the tension from the spring and let it settle back in. And this part, we just want to make really sure as we're releasing the pressure that the end of the, of the spring is sitting in the little pocket in the rubber as well as in the pocket on the metal. And that this is seating properly around this uh, collar and not hanging up on something that later is going to pop loose. Let's do a little bit on each side. Obviously, don't get your fingers stuck in between the spring and the strut. That would hurt. Detach my strut compressors. So there you go, it's all back together and uh, no fingers were lost in the process. So that's a win. Hope this was helpful. See you next time. And next time. Subscribe. Hope this was helpful. See you next time. And subscribe. And go. What am I saying? So there you go. As you can see with the right tools, it's not that hard of a job. Hope this was helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.